All right, folks, my name is Lucky. Today we're going to use Python to replicate this image here. This is a clock face with a blue turtle, light green background. Okay, so first we're going to import the turtle. Now we're going to define what the screen to us means. I'm going to say WN. We're going to make this background color light green BG for background okay I'm gonna make a title for this window since we're drawing a clock the turtle I'm gonna call the title turtle clock Now, I'm going to define what we're going to call our turtle. I'm going to use my name, so lucky assignment operator, turtle. Like that. That is how you call or define a turtle variable. Okay, right there. Now, notice that this is blue and it has the turtle shape. So we're going to define Lucky's shape as turtle, T-U-R-T-L-E, all right, turtle. Now we're going to make it blue. So Lucky's color is blue, Just right. So we've set up this to be the shape of the turtle, the color to be blue, the background to be green, and the window title to be turtle clock. Now we're gonna start drawing. We're gonna do that with two things, a function and a loop. We're gonna call this function clock because we're drawing a clock. You can call it whatever you want. I like to stay relevant. We're going to use the parameters t for turtle, x for a distance, y for another distance, a for an angle, ps for pen size, and sp for speed. Okay. Now, we're going to quickly explain what all of this is. t is turtle, x equals large distance. A equals, I'm sorry, Y equals small distance. A is our turn angle. PS. PS is our pen size. And speed is R is SP. So sp equals speed okay first loop using these variables and I will explain more in detail this is just to define what these parameters will be so we're asking the turtle okay, sorry here first we're going to call out a loop we're going to make this loop happen 12 times because we're trying to go forward stamp turn and repeat 12 times. First, we're going to define the pen size and the speed. Notice how I didn't put any numerical value in here because we would define these in the 
function executioner later. Actually feel more comfortable with this it's up there to make sure that it's part of this function and not part of the for loop. Now, what are we asking Lucky to do? We're asking Lucky, which is the turtle T, to move forward while not making any marks. So first. We're going to make it jump by doing a t dot pen up. He used this for pen up. Then go forward this distance. It's a larger distance than anything else we have here. So we're going to use x. Forward x. t dot pen down because we want it to start making marks this distance, which we will call y, smaller distance. Oops, pen down. Then we're going to make a mark by going forward. Y, that's what I meant. Then pen up again because I no longer want any more mark after that. Forward, another Y distance. Then stamp to make the shape stamp. Then we're going to go back the same amount that we went. So we went x, then we went forward y, then we went forward another y. So we're going to go back the same distance. Then we're going to turn. Since I like to go clockwise, I'm going to do a right turn, angle A. And now we execute. Call out the function to execute, which is clock from up here. Define our parameters. T was our turtle. We defined only one turtle, and that's lucky. Then, x for our distance. I'm going to use any number, 100, as long as, long as it fits from your screen, it's fine. My screen is quite small, so I'm going to do 100. Then the smaller distance, this looks to be about a tenth or a fifteenth of that 100, so I'm going to put 15. Then the turn angle, there's 360 degrees in one circle, 12 hours in a whole circle, or 12 times. So 360 divided by 12 is 30. Our pen size, I like it to be a little bit thick, but not too thick. So not too uh, blemishing but still visible so I'm gonna put three or four I like three then our speed I'm gonna put one for this video so that we can clearly see what's going on if there is a mistake even if it's correct we'd like to know why it is correct to see if it's doing exactly what we ask it to do so let's go ahead and look at our code one more time here we imported the turtle program defined the screen as WN then we made the screen light green. We call the screen title or window title turtle clock. We defined our turtle as lucky. We defined our lucky shape as a turtle and we want it to be blue. So we made lucky colors blue. Now we defined our function with parameters T for turtle, X for first distance, Y for second and third distance, a for turn angle, PS for pen size, and SP for speed. Then we called out pen size and T uh, underneath here and above the underneath the uh, function and above the for loop to make sure that it's the part of the function and not not part of the for loop. Then moving forward, we made a for loop for range 12, meaning we want to repeat this process 12 times. So up forward x down forward y up again forward y stamp see up forward up forward down forward up forward stamp right and we move back the same distance to the origin then we make a right turn 
going this way, and we turn 30 degrees. Move forward 100. Make a mark for 15. Go forward another 15, then stamp. Anyways, let's run this program. And let's see if we've made any mistakes or if we got it right first. Save, then run. Look at that beauty. Okay. You saw that, what it did. It went forward without making a mark, x distance, which in our case was 100. Then it went down, which is pen down, made a mark, y distance, in our case was 15, went back up for pen up, went forward another y distance, 15, and stamped the turtle right there. Then I went back the same distance that I went forward and turned 30 degrees and ended the loop. And the loop repeated 12 times, so it went around the circle. All right, we have successfully replicated the clock face with the light green background, blue turtle shape. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at locc at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Lucky, and as always, have a wonderful day. Take care.